Hello again, friends, and welcome, new friends. On that note, I want to thank you for helping us reach 1,000 subscribers. Please be sure to check the description box for an awesome giveaway. Today, I'm sharing with you how we welcomed the first week of autumn. So, of course, we kick off every season by redecorating our seasonal or nature table. For us, that's actually the top of our toy shelf adding our fall themed or fall colored play silks and rearranging our perpetual calendar. Adding live plants or flowers is a must for me and to this plant I just added decorative picks from the craft store to make it a little bit more uh, fall-esque. And just playing around with the setup until we have something that feels right. I also brought in our Himalayan salt lamp and it's actually the first time I do this and I think it adds the perfect fall ambience. Most of you are probably familiar with our uh, DIY perpetual calendar. So I am adding our days of the week gnomes and those go with the Waldorf color rhythm, the same with the months of the year gnomes. And these fit perfectly into our birthday ring. So when our birthday ring is not in use uh, celebrating birthdays, um, it just it fits perfectly into the whole piece and it just gives it some dimension in height. Our Autumn Queen sits here on her throne and I will also be adding our Earth um, Story Stone that my husband painted for the kids and that's just the representation of the Earth's orbit around the uh, sun and uh, making the yearly calendar. To mark the days in the month, we use loose parts to go with the season. We're using acorns for fall, so here we are adding 23 acorns. Around the Year by Elsa Besco is my favorite book to display next to the calendar. This is actually the mini book. So there's poems about the days of the week, months of the year, and even on time. Then there's a poem and illustration specific for each month. September is a poem about apples, so I'm also displaying our apple pet dolls. The calendar is set, so moving on. My vision for this side is to display a seasonal book or two, uh, autumn themed peg dolls, um, so our acorn family peg dolls, and some open space for displaying some of our handicraft projects and nature finds uh, throughout the season. Underneath, I'm displaying our seasonal uh, books and these are from the library and get rotated every week or so. So this week we're reading uh, Stella Luna, we're also reading Gruffalo and Gruffalo's Child, Leaves, It's Fall, and Room on the Broom, uh, as along with a few dragon themed books for my son who's dragon obsessed right now as you can see by the board game we're playing at the moment. I also want to store here on this extension to our shelf our arts and crafts resources for the season. So this one is from The Good and the Beautiful and I've already tapped out the projects that we want to recreate this season.
will also be working out of nature's art box so i'll show you some of my prospects for the season uh, so leaf rubbing gift wrap looks like it's going to be fun and perfect for the upcoming christmas season nature print cards and stationery if we ever do get around to mailing out our holiday cards this year making tree ornaments will also roll perfectly into the christmas season for our christmas tree Ooh, this uh, corn husk doll or in this case angel has been on my list to do for a few years now so we're definitely doing that this year I'm skipping over this gourd doll project for now. I'm still unsure about that one, but I do want to uh, attempt this corn husk house and the pine cone roof cottage. I'm also keeping our nature journaling notebook by the good and the beautiful here handy to pull out when we head outdoors and then um, our nature anatomy book which is just one of our favorite resources especially for this time of the year okay so our seasonal uh, table and current toy rotation is complete I also want to share with you this little space I prepared for autumn themed activities. Now I do want to apologize about the lighting here since it is against the big window, uh, but it will get better in a few clips. So I like to keep a tray um, somewhere in the schoolroom to hold our current projects that maybe haven't been finished, like these wooden um, leaves that we watercolored. I have to figure out what to do with that and a book that Bella's currently working on. Some puzzles that are out of rotation at the moment. So my first theme for our autumn shelves is acorn and leaves. So this is an acorn themed math tray and these are addition and subtraction strips. Um, so some with the equation already there for Bella to solve and others for Bella to make up one of her own. Tracing strips with the digit and number word in Spanish and two bowls with acorn manipulatives to use with the addition and subtraction strips. I hung our um, oak tree life cycle banner cards here along with an oak tree life cycle poster and this little tree here that you see on the corner is actually a craft from that good and the beautiful craft book. Moving down, anatomy of an acorn poster and a clipboard with a few scavenger hunt freebies um, just ready to go so that we can take on our walks with us. This is a nature classification or sorting activity for my toddler. Um, so a few of our nature finds and she is just to sort small and big. And the nature items or treasures for her to sort will be rotated as we go on our nature walks and bring in more treasures. A parts of a leaf puzzle and I'll pull out one of our bowls I keep handy uh, to lay out the puzzle pieces in. 
this is a resource i'll have everything linked down below uh, by the way in the description box as usual but for six dollars you'll receive all of these posters and there's also an option for larger size posters for about twelve dollars so check out that resource it's a great one we use it as uh, our field guides two part leaves puzzle cards great for symmetry and logic work This is another tray for logic and visual discrimination, which is different. Uh, so the child is to mark which picture out of the four boxes here in the one card is different. And again, all of these printables uh, will be linked down below in the description box. number quantity work for my toddler and I'm actually uh, in the making uh, for sets 6 through 15 for her these I made it last year I brought them out for a review and they're quite easy for her um, so that's a fun activity she really enjoys uh, and under here I just have a few other printables and activities that I will uh, rotate out once she's done with what I have uh, right now uh, acorn count and clip it cards so you're just counting the acorns and clipping a clothespin uh, of the respective number of acorns that have been counted another worksheet for logic and visual discrimination so find and mark or cover um, all of the acorns uh, that match that very top acorn at the top of the worksheet and again it's great for visual discrimination as a child is sorting through all of these other um, little acorns that really look uh, similar to the one they are to find and on the flip side is a Spanish version of roll it write it and count it prepared a little station for handwork activities so first we have our wooden loom by Melissa and Doug and plenty of yarn needed to go with it you can see a project here that is just about completed this here is a knitting tower for beginning knitting and these actually make these long like snake bodies that then you can turn into other projects for example we just made dragon marionette and puppets out of our snakes here I have two separate leaf threading projects to make a leaf garland and these leaves already have the slits in them which makes it easy for my toddler um, I use cotton embroidery thread and an embroidery needle with a blunt tip these are paper so um, you'll actually need to pierce through these um, but again with the same needle um, which is pointy but not too pointy where the child is going to uh, severely prick himself or herself and you'll see here that Bella already started a garland I like to use our windowsills as much as I can for displaying 
projects, uh, books, and just um, other activities. So this tree I made of twigs, twine, and hot glue. The leaf clothespins I found at Dollar Tree, but you can also make your own just out of felt and miniature clothespins. Uh, so this activity is for fine motor, uh, strengthening those pincers for handwriting, uh, and also for color matching. So I placed a bead uh, at the end of each twig, corresponding colors for my tot to color match. I told a little tale of a squirrel that is foraging acorns and uh, storing them for winter. So uh, this is a, like a foraging activity I made with these color tablets um, that I DIY'd a while back. Those are made from paint uh, samples and these little felted acorns that we also DIY'd. So um, the child is to go ahead and forage uh, the corresponding color of acorns to the color tablet and here I added a little scoop which actually makes it difficult um, you wouldn't think but you can also pair with tweezers or tongs for a fine motor activity we also kept busy with so many fun projects this week and my intentions were to include them in this video but it just would have made the video too long so those clips will be in the next video following this one so make sure you come back for those projects uh, we felted we made acorns we made puppets uh, we made lanterns and went on a fun lantern walk with our neighbors so again make sure you come back to watch that video last thing please be sure to check the description box for an awesome giveaway uh, celebrating our 1k subscribers you guys thank you so much and a big thank you to a child stream for sponsoring that giveaway so that's it for today until our next video thank you for your love